navigating the bathroom was also an experience. Yes. I don't know if you want to go into that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eric, and this is Heidi. We're going to tell you about our experience down in Mexico. We stayed at the Bubble Hotel in Baje de Guadalupe. We want to give you some pros and cons of this place, and you decide whether or not it's for you. If you're anything like us, looking for some sort of new adventure, this is definitely the place to go. We'll go over some of the highlights and other things to keep in mind while you're staying at this hotel. The hotel was very clean. I would say the beds were pretty comfortable. We've like had modern amenities from um, really cool lights that you can change the color of and you know, just it basically have the basic amenities, lights, no television, no speakers. So. And you'll be out of luck if you don't bring yours. Yeah, and we were really looking forward to looking up and staring at the stars all night long, but unfortunately the day we got there, it was cloudy and there was not one single star in the sky. Yeah, one of the other things to keep in mind is that there's a lot of zippers to open and close. So plan on opening a lot of zippers. our case the zipper actually broke so um, the hotel staff did kind of find a workaround but um, there's definitely a lot of zippers you can't have two open at the same time that's something to consider too you can't just open all the flaps and think you're gonna be okay the whole bubble is gonna deflate if you forget something in the car you have to go back there you go zip in each flap to get open and if you're carrying something then you're gonna have to set it down and unzip it and so yeah that is a process that's something to, that you start noticing once you come and go from the yeah, place. Yeah nothing too bad but you know you're definitely gonna notice it. So there's a constant noise from the air compressor to keep this bubble inflated white noise that you're constantly going to be hearing. It's not something that I think it's going to keep you up, but if you are a light sleeper, you might have trouble with it. Smells good. I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'm gonna christen, christen it. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Holy moly! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and there was no toilet paper allowed. Another, another thing to just be mindful of since it's definitely a unique experience. The toilet is not bolted down. There's nothing securing that toilet to the ground. It's just sitting over that sewage. If those wooden planks move, you're gonna move with it and you might have a bad time. Yeah, this is definitely just a one day type of deal. Uh, you don't wanna be here if you're hungover and there's no AC in that bathroom. After taxes, it was $293 with the bubble that comes with the bathroom. You could option out for one that doesn't have a bathroom in it and uh, that'll be less expensive. Or you could pay a little bit more for the one that has the bathroom and a jacuzzi. We woke up super early but that was probably a good thing because we wanted to get to different places. Luckily, we went when it wasn't too hot or cold, so we didn't have any of those issues, but we did see a lot of those comments. So I would also say that, you know, the shower um, was a small shower, but, you know, it was, they did have um, warm and cold, cold water. So one of the other things is there's only one plug on each side of the bed. 
From the moment we saw pictures of this hotel, we were instantly intrigued. We have never stayed in a hotel like this, so we thought this was a really cool experience. And from the moment you arrive, you're definitely in store for something different. We did get a lot of the comments that a lot of people said to only stay there one night and actually we would definitely agree with them because um, some of the people mentioned that it's just not that comfortable. We had a view of the vineyard. I think it was an experience like no other and I think that something that we'll always remember. It was really cool to see that we could just drive down to Mexico and stay in a place like this. You have to check in with the security guard to come and go with your car if you're leaving the property. Uh, if you're someone that's not really outdoorsy, uh, this is not for you. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. So overall, I think I'd give it a three stars out of five. I think that the place was super clean, very secure. It was a unique experience. It looks super cool. I'm fine with three stars. Um, I was happy. I think one night is sufficient. We went in June of 2021, so I think that the weather was ideal. We had a great overall experience. Let's end the video, guys. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought of the video, and let us know if you would ever stay in this sort of hotel.